Hi everyone, Tams here. In this video, I'm going to share some creative ideas on how to store, organize, and archive your snail mail. So let's get started. Let's start with incoming mail. I actually like the look of mail. I think it's very pretty and I like the way it looks in my library. And to keep up with the letters that I have not responded to yet, I like to store them in this pretty blue and white bowl. I like blue and white china and I just think this looks nice on my desk and that's where the incoming mail sits until I can respond to it. Next I want to talk about what I do with the letters once I respond to them. I don't immediately archive them. I do file them away and I have an entire video on how I set this up and organize my snail mail. But these baskets sit on my desk and I like to file the letters away because a lot of times I'll need to refer to them quickly or sometimes I really enjoy using some of the stamps for mail art. So again, if you're interested in how I set up this little filing system, I will share a link below to this video. Archiving. Okay, for archiving mail, really all I use is a photo box. <laughs> Now this, you can buy photo boxes at Michael's, Hobby Lobby, almost any craft store, and a lot of them come already decorated, but I love, like I said, the look of mail. I like to, the look of parcels. I'm a big Harry Potter fan. Um, I love the post office in that movie, and so what I like to do is I take the photo boxes, which you can get really cheap, and I wrap them with like craft paper so that it looks like a package. Okay, and then I can store the letter, archive letters in this, and then decorate the outside to look like a vintage parcel. And really, the thing that stands out here is I use a special stamp set. Let me show you. I use this um, Par Avion set of stamps, and it is by uh, Cavallini. Papers, and I'll link it below if you're interested. I love this. These stamps totally jazz up mail, uh, parcels, whatever, but that is what I use to give this a nice uh, patina, if you will. And I also use old stamps and uh, bits and bobs from um, old book pages I have and old just different labels and my wax seal of course and then I tie it with some type of ribbon and then this can sit in my library or on top of my letter writing secretary and it just really looks good to me and in this age of trying to keep things minimum um, I find it works best to incorporate the things you love um, with storage so it, it serves dual purpose so this serves as, also, as not only a decoration but a, you know, a storage box. And yeah, so pretty simple. Okay, and lastly, this was a very popular short video clip I shared on Instagram, but I have recently started um, binding a few letters into a leather notebook. And I do this because not only is this a great way to store letters, but uh, this works well for me because I do uh, lead and teach uh, lots of mail art classes and I take a lot of samples with me and when people see this and they can flip through it, it's, you know, very inviting, it's very attractive and people just really get excited about making mail. So I'm going to quickly share with you how I did this. It's quite simple, but this originally started off as a journal, okay, and it's one of those journals that consist of, you know, the signatures, a lot like this one. You can get these, um, you know, Barnes and Noble, you can get these all kinds of places. But what I did is I took it, you know, and it's got the sewn binding on the side, so look for that. And what I did was I took it apart. So I took the signatures out of this, this journal and I cut them down, just a few, it doesn't take that many, but as you can see, I cut the signatures down into smaller pieces, and they still had the holes to line up to, you know, re-thread the journal back together, which makes life a lot easier. And then, because I need to get into the letters, and if you bind the envelopes themselves, sometimes you'll mess up the letter inside, so I really needed to get to the letters and still read what's in them. So I just glued them with my favorite glue. 
And if you're in the paper crafting world, you already know about <laughs> tacky glue. Uh, if you're not, and this is all new to you, I'll link it below, but this is probably some of the best glue out there for any kind of paper crafting. So the envelope is glued to the, the front of each little piece there. You can see there's the back and uh, it just makes life really easy. <laughs> so now you can flip through and then bind these up and, you know, you can store this on your bookshelf or, you know, on your desk and it looks really pretty. So I hope that was helpful. Thanks so much for joining me. See you next time. Bye.